welcome to the office jungle. In this 10 minute audio presentation, we will walk you through our work on exploring unusual ways of working through bodily experimentations. We aim to spark discussion about opportunities to design workplaces that integrate physical activity within work. Before we begin, plug in your headset and make sure it is comfortable. Adjust the volume. We recommend you use your phone to be free to move. There's no need to look at your screen. So feel free to sit, lie, stand or walk. Are you in your office? Or can you picture your office? What do you see? Does this environment invite movement? Think about it. Which objects or situations make you move during a workday? The automation of tasks and processes has changed the way we work. Within offices, there is little need for physical activity. Our sedentary environment is designed to maximise productivity at the expense of physical activity. Physical activity at work is often perceived to be in competition with productivity. But does it have to be the case? Let us take you on our exploratory design journey questioning the way we work and the obstacles to movement through body storm. Some of our ideas might sound awkward or unrealistic. We do not deny it. But trust us and let your mind and body wander as we guide you through different perspectives of our work. What is the role of space in our sedentary behaviour? Try to visualise different postures you could adopt to work. Be creative. Think out of the box. Are there obstacles to some postures? Our routine, the social norms, the tools we use, all this is conditioning the way we work. It is your chance to get rid of them just for a moment. Look around you. Where could you sit if not on your chair? What surfaces could you lie down on? Could you walk, dance, stretch? What is the role of our tools in our sedentary behaviour? Our computers or laptops have become extensions of ourselves, yet they force us to adopt a fixed posture. Let's imagine your laptop attached to your arms, literally strapped to them. It's not painful nor uncomfortable, but can you feel its weight? Without the constraint of this tool, you are now able to move around. Your legs are free to move again. You can walk while working. What if sitting was not the norm? What if you worked in an environment forcing you to move constantly yet without effort? Let's dive into our underwater office. You are underwater. You feel your body floating and you must move slowly to stay afloat. Oxygen is not an issue. Gravity neither. You feel perfectly relaxed. Your back does not hurt anymore because of the lack of comfort of your office chair. 
Water is your element. On the bottom of the pool, you are watching a movie related to your work. What would you watch? You are deeply focused. It might not surprise you at this stage. Our exploration has brought us to the idea of wildness. You might wonder, how does wildness fit in an office context? Wildness in the office is meant to counterbalance our increasingly sedentary office work style. Can you imagine a new wild office environment? Instead of fixed static floors, walls and ceilings, the office is a dynamic setting that makes you move. It requires more physical and cognitive effort as compared to your regular office space. It reacts to your movements in ways you can't really anticipate. You are alert. From a research perspective, the office jungle installation triggers reflections on the use of technology and the way it shapes our work practices. It is possible to use a laptop in the jungle, yet it is not optimal and implies a more static position that would restrict movement. The office jungle thus calls for technologies which do not constrain mobility as much as current computer-mediated work. Speech recognition, wearable technology, or even brain-computer interfaces could be used for the benefit of innovative working environments. This is the end of our journey. As you head back to your working routine, you might want to imagine how things could be done differently. How we, as a community, could challenge the status quo to design workspaces able to support embodied and dynamic experiences. and how this could start with you, right here, right now. You have been listening to a production by Ida Dame, Ingmar Nuurboer, Hans Brombacher, Pieter van Wezenmaal, Steven Vos and Corinne Lallemand from Eindhoven University of Technology and Fontes University of Applied Sciences. This presentation was narrated by Dan Lockton. <laughs>